My lord, you are just in time. The Acolytes should be returning shortly. There's something vaguely unsettling about Boneface. He's hardly said a word, but he's got a determined glint in his eye. Reminds me of you. Mogotoni ompi bedwana. Nibobo. Choba uma. Ah, there you are. My lord, it looks as if we were both wrong. May I present to you your apprentice? Ahem. <clears throat> Maybe I wasn't so wrong after all. Ah, Boneface. So you're not dead then. Zalek. Hmm? My name is Zalek. my lord. Slave scum! Did you not listen to the rules of this academy? You do not murder another acolyte, and in the presence of witnesses! I'm sorry, my lord. It seems I've failed to teach this miserable dog a single lesson. I will let you know when a new shipment of slaves arrives. It's all right, Harker. I like his style. He murdered an acolyte in the academy walls in the presence of an overseer and a lord of the Sith. To top it off, he's a slave. Sith tradition demands he be executed. Do not make me remind you the cost of disobedience. No, my lord. But Thanaton will hear of this. My lord. I hope you're ready to fight. Always. Greetings, Master. I cleaned the vessel from stem to stern in your absence. You My lord, Moth Valiant Pyron, I am satisfied to report that the silencer is complete. But we have limited time to test it before Thanaton intervenes. The prototype is mounted aboard the Imperial Starship Doombringer. Meet me there. I have already invited the Moths I feel would be most favorable to your cause. It falls to you to do the persuading. Good work, Moth Pyron. I will meet you there. Excellent. I'll have you know Imperial Engineering has outdone themselves. I shall see you aboard the Doombringer.
there she is. This, my fellows, is the future of the Sith Order, who will lead the Empire into a new moment. What is a no-name Sith Lord going to do against a Dark Council member? Thanaton will have our heads. Thanaton grows more insufferable every day. Our ancient and mystical Sith traditions will win wars, he says. Not generals with training. Don't worry. The next time I meet Thanaton, he will die. Then talk to me after he's dead. I won't stick my head out until I know it won't get cut off. Enough, Dolus. We are not here to listen to you bicker. We're here today to demonstrate a new weapon, codename Silencer. You boys may have heard of it. What are you drinking, Pyron? Thanos unkilled the Silencer project. Soon you will see an entire Republic fleet disappear, thanks to the Silencer and the tireless efforts of the Empire's champion. My lord. Moths, generals, we are an Empire at war to reclaim our rightful place in the galaxy. We cannot afford to be the same Empire we were before we returned to this space. We must be strong, determined, and above all, free to do what is necessary to claim victory. Isaac, prepare the silencer to fire. Moff Pyron, my lord, we're receiving an Imperial signal. Doombringer, Darth Achelon of the Carnage requests your aid in fighting the Republic fleet. Repeat, the Carnage needs your aid. Let's blast that fleet out of the sky. Use the weapon. No, wait. If you fire the silencer now, the Carnage and Achelon will be destroyed in the blast. Darth Achelon is one of Thanaton's cronies. Let him get blasted. You would knowingly destroy an Imperial vessel? You propose treason, Graham. The fleet will tear him to shreds anyhow. If we go in there, that'll be two Imperial vessels destroyed. My lord? If Ashelon wants help, he'll get it. Not that it'll do him any good. Use the weapon. Yes, my lord. Amazing. I can't believe my eyes. I agree. You've made quite the impression, my lord. Consider us interested in an alliance of sorts. Moff Pyra, see that each of these men gets a silencer for his capital ship. I expect this will be a quite fruitful relationship. Of course, my lord. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Greetings, Master. I cleaned the vessel from stem to stern in your absence. 
You can smell... You have remarkable energy. Who knew the Silencer Project could be such a resounding success? But capital ships are not trivial resources. Darth Akalon shouldn't have engaged a Republic fleet with one ship. Perhaps. This ends now. I declare a Kagath. A contest of mutual annihilation, pitting power base against power base. Whoever sheds the most blood wins. To the victor, eternal glory. To the loser, death and shame. I've never heard of the Kagath. I keep forgetting how little Zash taught you. Corellia is the arena. The Kagath begins when you land. Forfeit and be disgraced. Hounded to the ends of the galaxy by every Sith in the Empire. My lord, that was an open channel. Thanaton broadcast the whole thing. He wants everyone watching the Kagath as it unfolds. He is well entrenched on Corellia, but the Empire's fighting a significant battle there. The chaos could be an advantage. With your permission, I'll transfer to Corellia so that the fleet can provide you support. I won't turn down the helm, but I don't require it. Yes, my lord. I will try to learn of any weaknesses in Thanaton's power base. My lord, I have incredible news. A group of Jedi have split from the Jedi Order. This is the perfect opportunity for us to win allies. Divide and conquer. I like it. Yes. I guess you could put it that way. Now these guys aren't like Master Simon, but I think that actually gives us a chance. They're hardliners. Very anti-Sith. But their argument with the Jedi is over methods, not aims. Unlike Master Simon, they say they are willing to do whatever is necessary. Then they're our kind of Jedi. The main Jedi Council will never deal with a Sith unless he turns to the light. A splinter group is exactly what we need. I'm going to meet with them. I promise I won't be long. My lord, thank you. We have new allies in the Rogue Jedi, but I couldn't have done it without your training. What did they say? They were skeptical at first. Like Master Simon, they would not accept me as a Jedi. But this time I knew what to say. You helped me understand. Sith and Jedi is an arbitrary divide. I don't know what I am, and I don't care. I told them the Jedi need to be willing to do whatever it takes, even ally with a Sith to bring peace to the galaxy. You've learned a lot, Apprentice. Not all the Jedi were won over, of course. Their leader, Master Quintus, said that he would be unwise to turn his back on such conviction and determination. Thank you for letting me meet with them, my lord. I look forward to training with you. You are my apprentice, not my slave. There's no need to be obsequious. Yes, Lord. I don't suppose Harkin has bothered to teach you anything useful, like the Sith Code? Kill or be killed. An interesting way of putting it. That will do. Command me, and I will strike, my lord. I 
I've just finished cleaning the fuel injectors to the sublight drive. You should notice a 0.0008% power. Cruel nemesis, torment me no further. I surrender. I'm not worthy of finding Auxilio Gan. He was depending on me, and I failed. Don't give up so easily. We can crack this. My lord, I would welcome your expertise. I've tried everything. I've even gone back to the medallion to see if my mentor left me any other clue. If the Imperial Reclamation Service knew how many codes I violated trying to decipher this medallion, they'd have me stripped of my rank. Don't worry, I won't report you. Thank you, my lord. I suppose I will just have to let it rest. Perhaps when my mind is fresh, I can evaluate the situation from a new angle. Wait! Why didn't I see this before? The medallion came with a chain. It wasn't the original, so I thought it wasn't important. How wrong I was! Best of luck finding your mentor. Thank you, my lord. If you'll excuse me, I must examine the chain more closely. I'm confident it's the key to finding him. So, are we getting married or what? I didn't think you were the type to get tied down. Neither are you. Makes us perfect for each other. Hurry up and marry me before I change my mind. Deal. turning sentimental, but I, I gotta say it, you are beautiful. Are you saying you love me? Yeah, I guess I am. Thanaton has challenged me to an ancient duel called the Kagath on the surface of Corellia. I've accepted. Marthwe Godzai Akran by Rwandans Ja Wan Jantans in Ufkunpa. In Pamelhap Fralat Forte Fuima Elizos Kaskaf Tais. Then I shall do my best to win. Arabudano was. Ni Parasibis Judawiscom Ufra Nenimja. Corellia's all out war right now. Imperial held, Republic challenged, and loads of resistance. Sounds to me like Thanaton's trying to beat you and the Republic at the same time. He's using the battle to enhance his prestige in the Kagath. Makes sense. There are better way to win glory than in battle. Anabudbano was. Ni Parasibis Judawiscom Ufra Nenimja. Moff Pyron said he'd be waiting surface side. Not my favorite guy, but you need all the allies you can get.
my lord, Thanaton has wasted no time. He's cut off transport from this sector and trapped you here. If I can't move around Corellia freely, I can't win the Kagath. Thanaton wants you powerless. My fleet is on its way. But it's useless as long as we're trapped here. Darth Charnas can help you with the transport problem, but we need to understand what we're up against if we're going to counter it. He can't expect me to stay trapped. He'll have a plan, and I want to be ready for it. I have my best analysts working on getting you all the intelligence we can, my lord. My lord Moff Pyron. Thanatons removed the commander of the 115th of the island's outpost. He's sent Lord Scar to take over. Hmm. Scar is Thanaton's apprentice. Thanaton probably intends to secure a victory in the Kagath by winning the battle at the island's outpost. But I'd be wary. He's making this too easy, putting his apprentice within killing distance. He must feel the risks are worth the reward of glory in battle. Or... Oh, Scar is bait. Still, Lord Scar will be aware of his master's long-term plans. That knowledge could be priceless. Then I have no choice. Trap or not, I must strike at Scar. This may be our best chance at learning Thanaton's plan and confounding it. But I must ask that you not kill Scar until we can replace him. Without a commander, the outpost is sure to fall. Whatever you do, find out as much as you can about Thanaton's schemes. Good intel is key to victory. to take a look at our ordnance. for the Empire.
pleasure of your arrival was expected, my lord. Welcome to Corellia. I am Lord Ferris, here to make a request on behalf of my master. Darth Decimus of the Dark Council has taken interest in your actions and desires your assistance in the battle for Corellia. I could use more Dark Council allies, but not if they're allied with Thanaton. Darth Decimus shares your distaste for Thanaton, which is why he extends this offer. Our invasion of Corellia was executed to perfection, but the ensuing occupation has met difficulties. Darth Decimus believes you can help. If you're interested, seek out his servant, Darth Charnas. He will set you on the path of conquering Corellia. I'll talk with Darth Charnas at once. Darth Charnas's ship, the Tears of Taris, is on Corellia now. A private shuttle outside the spaceport will take you there. City, the jewel of Corellia, home to the finest trading and ship manufacturing in Republic space. Soon this will all belong to the Empire, and the rest of the galaxy will follow. Where are my manners? I am Darth Charnas, agent of the Dark Council. My master, Darth Decimus, requested your assistance. He says only the most powerful Sith can help us win Corellia. I will show this planet the Force's true might. Pity you weren't here to set an example during our initial assault. The invasion was magnificent. Our occupation flawless. Imperial forces fill Corellia's high-speed rocket trams. We began to cover Coronet City. Then rebellion erupted. Unruly Corellians knocked out the rocket trams. Now our soldiers are stranded. Send your troops against the rebels. Don't give them an inch. Our men are barely equipped to hold the spaceport. We need you to go after the insurgents behind the attacks. The guilty party is Corellian Engineering Corporation, the oldest ship manufacturer in Republic history. CEC exploited our one weakness. They turned our iron cannons on all outgoing trams, freezing our invasion, trapping us on the doorstep of the Empire's greatest battle. Storm the company and shut them down. It's the only way we'll break their blockade. I agree completely. Unfortunately, CEC shielded against conventional attacks. There's only one way in. The Hullcracker. A compact bomb developed by Zerka Corellia's deviant scientist to punch holes through capital ships. It will get us inside CEC. Then we disable their iron cannons, resume rocket tram traffic, and conquer Corellia. Unfortunately, Zerkas joined the rebellion and they refuse to hand over their hullcracker. Some broken fingers should loosen their grip on this weapon. 
The hull crackers under constant guard. Destroyed Zekka's assault camps, and they'll abandon the weapon to reinforce their headquarters. Once you rout the camps, find our commander Jastel in Zekka territory, then we'll liberate that hull cracker. Allah is a nam na dize.
Berserker's camps are destroyed. How do we get the whole cracker? I'll connect you to Darth Charnas at once. My ship afforded a spectacular view of your work. Zerka's forces swarm like confused insects. They've regrouped to defend the hive, leaving the hull cracker storage facility vulnerable. Zerka reeks of panic. We must take their explosive now. Captain Jastel's team is in place, ready to grab the hull cracker. You will lead a more direct attack. Your target is Brawl Tavar. He's Zerka Corellia's figurehead, the definition of corporate sleaze. Brawl Tavar has the hull cracker's detonation codes. Without them, the bomb's useless. Break into his executive offices, get the detonation codes, then call me. My men will already have the hull cracker. Tell your men to be ready for the final assault, Commander. I'll deal with Brawl Tavar at once. We'll have the hull cracker by the time you have those codes. <laughs> 